안녕하세요. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel. And if you came in here today, um, you have noticed that I really, really wanted to film this video because I just like spring a lot, and it's been one of my favorite seasons in Korea ever since I knew about Korea. Because I'm just a sucker for all pink flowers and the season and all the styles that you can wear so that's the reason why i'll be filming this video today the thing is it didn't come out with a special makeup for this video but it's just that i have always been using this makeup for myself and it's always just been the style that i wear that i wear and honestly it hasn't changed much but i thought of like just doing a new video or a new version of it by just adding a little bit of sparkles here and there so that's the reason why i wanted to film this video of course at the same time when i'm filming i'll just be talking a bit about um what has happened recently in a positive light so you are in for some juice but before i get started i just wanted to sort of introduce you some of the skincare products that has been saving my life i mean i wanted to do short videos about it but i was thinking you know so since i'm using the video i can explain a bit and why does it help me and as you can see i just came out of the shower i haven't dried my hair so i will really give you a finish later honestly it's not that cold and so right now but this is the only pink thing that i have so for a person who loves pinks a lot um i don't have much pink clothes i just have a lot of pink stuff as you can see here Wow, so many pinks out. Even my table is all pinky pinky. Look, pinky pinky, and my a peach collection is here. I really like pink a lot. Um, yeah. So before I um go on, I just wanted to do a bit of um skincare. So this one was gifted to us by Medicube a few months ago. Tongna, it's been used so much. It is really like um, the consistency is quite thick, and it really helps me to moisturize my face in this winter. If you guys are curious, I have, um, I used to have a combination skin whereby it is sort of oily on the T-zones and um, just normal here. The person that came to Korea, it's kind of dry, like Singapore. I don't sweat as much and I, I produce oil still. My face has been suffering a bit because I haven't found like the perfect skincare yet. That's the reason why I mix and match products to see what really works for me. And then of course with that, it comes with the serum also. This one has been really saving my life as well. It's also very thick, it smells nice. I like skincare that smells good because it's like applying perfume on your face. I mean, I'm not trying to say that it's scented. I don't think it's scented. It's just, it doesn't smell like nothing, but it smells like something, but it's not that bad. Okay, so that was two pink stuff that I've been using for my face, but I just wanted to show you some other different stuff. So I just took this out recently to use. It's Mixun Bean Essence. I really like it because its consistency is like... Okay, well, I'll, let me show you. You see, this is so like on my face, and because it's dry in this weather, I really try to like replenish moisture on my skin a lot. So that has been really my saver for the last like a month or so. I just like that. It feels like applying egg white on my face. Egg white, it's okay, but this one is really good. And then this other one, it's not pink, but this has been like saving my life from acne as well. This Ionic Tea Tree Serum. So I think my face is kind of, not say sensitive, I used to have sensitive skin, but most of the skincare products, it does help my face when I was younger. But I think now because I'm older, not everything works on my face. My skin tends to turn red very easily. I'm almost finished with it with the bottle. This is the reason why like I use this Ionic tea tree really uh, serum i feel like after using this my i have lesser um bombs on my face i don't form acne so fast even when my period is here so this has been sort of my go-to two serums before um 
uh, essence and serum for like probably a month or so and I just wanted to share with you guys because I don't know how else to share it. <laughs> and last but not least, um, for cream of course, um, it's the same brand as the Bean Essence. So Mixun is a brand that is very focused on like using bean and I love bean. I don't know why. I like soy bean, red bean, green bean, yellow bean, all kinds of beans. And I used to have a nickname called Jean Bean. My friend used to call me Okay, but anyways. So this one is the cream that I've been using for day and night. It's called the Mixun Kung Cream. I'm not sure if you can see. And this one has the same consistency as the as the, the essence. Let me show you. Ooh. Okay, it's not as much as the essence, but this one has been really good for my face. I know that I'm not like a typical skin influencer. I Kind of, I'm kind of rough with my face. I think that's the reason why I have like wrinkles here. I need to be gentler like... <laughs> and last but not least, I always apply eye cream at night. I keep saying last but not least, I'm sorry, but it's the last but not least for like the cream and last but not least for the essence, you know, I think. Really, really last step of my skincare is I always apply this eye cream. It has been my go-to eye cream, maybe because I didn't buy it and they sent it to me. I was very, very thankful because I don't think that eye cream, you can see the effect, but it does help like to prevent anti-aging, right? And like wrinkles around here. So I don't think it will cure my dark circles because I have like really genetically bare eye circles, but I feel that it's good to protect your eyes because it's like a very soft part of your face here. So here I'm the softer, so I'll just do this. And then I always put eyelash serum because um, I perm my lashes once in a while and it's always good to take care of them. So that is sort of my skincare routine. These that I've been showing are ones that are quite suitable with my skin recently. I mean, of course, I do use others as well, but because today is pink team, I wanted to introduce to you some stuff that is more pinkish and neutral tone, yeah? Okay, so let's move on to the makeup. Okay, guys, I'm back with the makeup. This is really my Sing Oil. Sing Oil is, Sing is like fresh. Oil is a uh, short form for Oil Guru, which is face. So it's basically a face without makeup. So this is how I'm always like. But I'm sure if you guys have watched my channel, my videos, Instagram or whatever, you know that um, I'm not really a like big guru of makeup. I do like to do makeup, but um, I just feel more comfortable without it. But okay, anyway, so today, spring version of makeup blah, effect. Flower, 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 flower. Okay, anyways, so I will just share with you what my makeup is. Um, firstly, I have been wanting to try out cushions for some time, but I'm not a big fan of cushions. It's not that I never tried before, but I did. And I think because in Singapore, my face is on the oily side. So if I put cushion, it's even more oily. So I think it's not so suitable for face. Maybe I can try in Korea since it's more dry. But okay, that aside, I don't use cushion. I have been using only um, concealer. And this is the one that I have been using from Luna. I really like their products because the coverage is really high. And I have been using their concealers, eyeliner, eyebrow pencil for some time. But this time around, I decided to try this. It's really affordable. I always get my concealers from... Olive Young um, because yeah it's just affordable and I think Korean local brands are really doing well in terms of makeup also not only skincare so this is what I usually use and then of course pink color puffer I remember in the last video of my makeup I always talk about how like oh you don't need a, a, a beauty blender you can just like do this but ever since I bought beauty blender also from Olive Young I have been addicted to using Beauty Blender. How I usually put my makeup or my concealer on my face is I always target the eyes first. Eyes. Because the dark circles are the best stuff, right? And then, of course, my pimple um, spots on my face. And then last but not least, I always try to cover the red the red spots or, or places in my face. And it's always my nose here. 
So it gives a way of highlighting effect. So I don't use highlighter, you guys. No highlighter, no contour, because I tried it before and I look so weird. Okay, I will try to learn it, but yes. So I'll just put it here. And then here, my this part of the nose. And of course my chin here. I have my cutie a peach to help me blend the makeup. Can you guys see? Listen that I don't have to keep talking, but I think it's just me. Feels weird when it's silent in a video. And I guess when it's silent, you guys are gonna go away. Right? Don't go. I look so ugly when I put makeup. So, okay, I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up. Maybe next Friday or something. But if you guys know, um, if you guys keep up with me, be it your Singaporean or Indonesian or somewhere else in the world. I'm not sure if you follow Naughty, my husband, but he has been going through some stuff lately and I don't deny that I do play a role in that also because well, when you're married, I always believe that you become one. Your life is not just yours anymore. You have to share it with this person because you made that pact and you make that promise, right? Wait, I need to get my eyebrow pencil. So even my eyebrow pencil has pink on it. I've been using this eyebrow pencils for like at least 10 years of my life ever since I started drawing eyebrows. Why do I use this one is because firstly, Etude House came to Singapore really early as one of the Korean makeup brands that is doing well in Korea and they did their marketing really well with idols and stuff and that's the reason why I was sold but what's so good about it even though I've been using there's other brands that come out I have tried other brands as well but nothing is as pigmented as this one I'm not sure if you guys use like brow gel or this kind of thing I used to use brow gel also but because I have quite a bit of hair already so I don't really need it I always just use this Etude um, eyebrow pencil. I use it in dark brown always, either that or light brown. I seldom use black because then it looks like really dark and then people say I look like lovely shell sing. I always did not want to draw my eyebrow like straight like the Korean and stuff like that. I don't have that kind of style. I just follow how my eyebrows are being made, okay? So if you are a young girl coming here, figuring out how to do Korean spring makeup, um, Jeche or Onni is not the best person that you can tell, you can learn from but I will try my best to explain to you. So what I usually do is I try to draw the corner first and what is good about this is it's like a, I'm not sure if you can see but yeah, can you see it's like a sharp A. It helps to get the thick easily. I always start from the outer corner to the inner corner. I just fill in my hairs. Can you see there's a difference? This one's drawn, this one's not drawn. So I'm gonna do the other side also first. Okay, I'm done. With no error, can you see? Yeah? Not that difficult. I remember when I first started, it's very messy as well, but you know, practice makes perfect. And I think after flying, I can do it really fast now. Usually my makeup takes about 15 minutes but I'm explaining to you guys so it takes a bit longer. Next, so after the concealer, I usually do my brows. Then next, I will do my eyelid. As you can see, my eyelid folds a lot. My double eyelid is kind of thick. So I always um, use an eye primer. And nowadays, I've been using this one, Bia Eye Primer. So I've tried the expensive one like Urban Decay and um, that one is good also and I have tried like a not so expensive one like Etude House like I told you right but I feel like honestly all of it do its job it just helps it to not crease so I just decided to choose the cheapest one I think this is about like Satonon which is like about $5 and I've been using it for the longest time and it does the job so I don't know about you guys if you guys like brand then of course go for it but if you're trying to find a simple alternative this is not this is not bad as well okay and then next i think this is the main point of spring makeup so main point of spring makeup is to make your eyes sparkle with all sorts of pink okay so i have been using this eyeshadow as you can see it's almost disappearing from rom end um it is in M03 Malin Cosmos, so dry cosmos 
but I cannot find this one anymore. However, because this one has ran out, I was trying to look for something similar. Also from Ron N, I really like Ron N is because of the glitter. I'll show you later, okay? Um, so now I switch to this one in W02 Mylene Poksungaku. So dried peach flower. This is the one that I have been using in replacement for this. As you can see, it looks kind of similar. But this one is kind of darker. But anyway, because it's spring, um, I think this is good enough. This is pinky enough, so let's get started. If you're thinking that eyeshadow is kind of hard to use, don't complicate it. You just have to dip the brush into the powder and just slap it all over your eyes. I will just put the the lightest color all over my eyelid, the first one first. If you want it to be a bit darker, sometimes I do like a double like dip. And then I just put it towards the corner of the eye. The pink is so so pretty. I really really like this new one. The pink is so pretty. And then of course, the point of all Korean makeup, not just spring makeup, Korean makeup is you have to put eyeshadow on your egg side. Egg side is this fat below the eye. I don't have it. I think there's people who like inject fat here, but I don't I don't have it. So, I have to put more to make it more obvious. So, what I usually do is I just can you guys see? I'm not good at doing makeup, but using pink eyeshadow is so that your eyes pop. After using the same brush, I am very <laughs> efficient. I just use all the same brush. Just um, deep the glitter. Okay, this one you will be so shocked because the glitter is really very very uh, powerful. Look, this glitter is so pretty. Every time I do this makeup, everybody will be like, oh, yeah, so nice yeah because um this palette is really nice under eye as well usually under eye i use another brush to do it but i didn't bring it so i'm gonna go get it between my eyes now no eyeshadow and eyeshadow it makes such a big difference to your eyes am i right i guess that and the inner corner of my eye and voila, I'm done. And then, last but not least, you just have to put on your eyeliner. I always try to follow, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's a line of my double eyelid that goes like that, right? I'll just follow and then just connect it back to the eye cell. So if you can see this line, I just draw it downwards. Just follow the line and cover. Can you see? It's so easy. So, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is the only eyeliner that I use. Only Molly perfect eye gelong. Long Kini Gel Pen Liner Gel Brown Okay, so basically it's just in brown color And it's really cheap, I think it's just turn on which is about $6 So that's what I usually do And then I just fill up the gaps Here Then I'm done! Can you see the difference? Okay, so this one, no makeup This one, full blast spring Korean makeup. Okay, so that's how I've been doing my makeup. So I think the main point of Korean spring makeup is firstly, your eyeshadow has to be pink or purple. I think Rom N has a purple one also and I think it was really really pretty but I didn't get it. Eyeliner, must you must try to draw it downwards because that is like the puppy eyeliner that the Koreans always talk about. And last but not least, the most important point is you have to put glitter on your inner corner of the eye and the egg side, okay? So that builds sort of the Korean makeup. I'm gonna do the other side while talking so that you guys can watch me apply a bit more. So yes, I was mentioning just now things that has been happening and honestly, I wouldn't say that it's been a bit of roses and we're having it all together but um, I don't know, I don't know about you guys but I feel that in my defense I have been trying really really hard to hang on and saying this is not like I'm giving up or something and I still want to hang on because I mean I really really love Naughty a lot and I just feel that sometimes um, it's just normal for couples to sort of have differences and in working out this difference, not every single time it's easy to just like sit down as adults and talk 
Of course, that would be the best scenario, but it's just not always that it happens like that. You know what I mean? We had a tiff last um, that time when you see that everything happened on Instagram. And I hope that actually, honestly, that you guys wouldn't hold grudge against him because honestly, it was all towards me, I guess, but I do not hold any grudge for him because I know that he's trying his best and I do admit that there are some stuff that happened on the day that was my fault. Like sometimes when things happen to me, like I mentioned before, when plans don't go the way I want, my immediate reflex is to just like, you know, no, no kind of thing and I need to recalibrate and every stuff, everything like that and I get really frustrated with myself and everything around me and it doesn't help that Naughty is always the one next to me so he does get the brunt of it and I'm always really sorry towards him for him and I always say it but I think at that time he had a long day, I had a long day so I did apologize for not controlling my tone and my attitude but I did apologize that and said that it's sort of my reflex that I only realized after that, right? Ooh, this one came out really nice. Okay. The thing is, I really wanted to like just calm down first before I started like talking or before I moved on to talk about... As in, I just wanted to calm down basically. I didn't want to say anything else that would like hurt both of us. So I just wanted to calm down but I think he just had a really long day and to him, it's like, oh, I've been working the whole day. How can she do this to me? I get it. I was, that was my fault. But after that, he kind of just had, like, I think he just needed a breather. So I think he went out. He should have just stomped out of the house and there was nothing I could do to stop him. Because honestly, after that, I had a call with my mom and I just felt like after calling my mom, I'll be more ready to talk about it. But he didn't even give me that time. He just left. Before I continue, with this juicy story, so you have to stay tuned, okay? Um, I've been using this blush from Clinique. Can you see? This brush is blush. This blush is so freaking pretty and it comes with the this one, the blush brush. Blush brush. And this pink combi is so pretty. Hmm. I really like this blush so much. And I just like really just slap it in my face, so. I just do it like this. Okay, wait, that's a bit too much. Then after I just try to remove it with my hands. So, can you see now? I made up. Okay. And last but not least, of course, um, like you, like I showed, like I said before, everything here now it's pink. So of course I have to end off with a pink lipstick. Okay, so this actually brings back a lot of memories for me because when I was in Singapore and Naughty wanted to give me my first present for I don't know, just being his girlfriend and stuff, he got me this even though it was not cheap. It was really expensive. Like if, if you guys buy this, it's about like forty ish, and he got it for me when he didn't have money at that time and um. Honestly, I am really very thankful for Naughty and I believe that in life, be it marriage or any relationship that you have, it's just about two persons coming together and trying to sort out the differences and I don't know why it's hard for him to see it that way. Um, I don't think he chose not to, but I think he was just very overwhelmed yesterday and Maybe when I said something, the tone and attitude or the face that I give sort of just triggered him. If you guys watch our videos from before, there's some stuff, of course, everybody have pet peeves about one another. And um, I also acknowledge that that was my part, but I guess at that point, he also sort of triggered my pet peeve as well. So I just felt like we needed time to come down and all, but he didn't have enough, any of it. and then. He, like, if you saw his necessary, he went out and stuff. But after talking to him a lot on text, like, very rationally, I wasn't, like, pissed or anything. I was just telling him through um, trying to figure out things on that day, he asked me, like, okay, so what do you want? And I'm like, you have to come home. Because even though we made, because we made a promise that no matter what happens, 
we will still try to work it out. Be it today or another day, we still sleep on the same bed. And I feel like that is a rule that every married couple should have. Because especially at the beginning few years of marriage, it's not going to be easy. I never thought it was an easy thing, but I think it's just really important for all of us to, you know, stick it through no matter what happened. Because the reason why we decided to end up with someone is because we feel that that person's worth it, right? So that's the reason why I feel like um, it's very much necessary to just stick it out for that person. And I don't really know how to solve it. And as much as he's a uh, eggy, eggy like a um, baby in this marriage thing, so am I also, okay? I'm still trying to figure out. And we used to honestly solve things in a more rational manner, but I do um, acknowledge that maybe he is going through some deep stuff in his life and emotional battles is not his forte. Cause I think he has, um, he's more on, on like, on the ball of his feet and has always like just doing things that he can so that's the reason why I think he just needed some time and I believe right now that I do have to find a way to be independent on my own channel so that's the reason why I'm filming this video um, thank you so much if you watched to this point I really received so much support from you I believe that I'm not perfect as well and I'm still trying my best to learn to be every single role that I have right now things haven't been on the bright side um, for the past month if you guys know with the ovulation test um, some stuff happened back at home and I'm the eldest and just a lot of things have been going on and trying to plan for, for the future it's just not easy adulting like sucks to some point but I always take comfort in knowing that Naughty's there and we're a team and we're just doing it together but I guess yesterday wasn't like um the best scenario example but I just wanted to share that it's just life and I just see it as life and I don't hold any grudge of course I'm sorry towards him and I wish that he was um, sorry towards me also after reflecting but I, I'm not sure about that but every change should start from within and it should start from me and that's the reason why I'm coming here I'm talking about it filming my own video about makeup when I'm not good at makeup so yeah, I hope you came in for a juicy story and managed to learn something. <laughs> Thank you for being with us and I believe we will get through somehow. Okay, anyways, sorry about the five minute nagging and stuff, but last but not least, I was just thinking a lot because I like said, right, he gave me this long ago. Anyways, okay. So I'm not sure about you guys, but on the funny side, I'm not, I don't know. If it's just me, but when I use my lip gloss, it always ends up like this. Can you guys see? Is it just me? Because I mean, you apply it on your lips, right? So this is basically my lip shade. So one day, Rosa kissed on me, saw it, and she was like, Chine, ego I was like, Oh, krum, kunde, tadur, krochi anunga? Like, is it really not like that? But. <laughs> it fits my mouth. And then when the top, I just. I just flip it. And then voila, I'm done. Um, apart from that long, long talk, this is my complete spring makeup look. I wanted to do mascara, but I've been using this Etude Curl Fix. It's pink too. So this Etude Curl Fix mascara. What I really like about it is, um, basically I walked to Olive Young and I just took anything that looked pink. And I think because it's thin, it sort of gets into the um, every lash and it avoids the clump so that's why I really like it um, this one is in I got the black one for this one oh and the lipstick I'm so sorry I didn't talk about it this one in 033 coral pink if you're wondering what color is this lip cake I don't know if you can just see it's my finish makeup ring look okay so I'm gonna go do my hair and I'm gonna come back and then I'm just gonna conclude the video see you in a bit my finished look. Um, I even brought like a bunny clip so that I can. So cute! Okay guys, so this is my finished look for spring, Korean spring makeup. <laughs>
I hope that from today onwards, I'll be able to show you more of myself. And I hope that I'll gain fans or people or viewers that love me for me. Um, of course, please always support Naughty Couple and I do love Mr. Nautia and Hansel a lot. I feel like we probably just lost sight of how hard it was to reach here. I myself um, may have fallen into that trap as well. So I hope that this will be a reminder for myself and for you guys that nothing is um, there just because it is supposed to be there. But it's because all of us put in our very, very um best effort to be where we are so don't let everyone shortchange you for that so yeah enough souls thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned to the next spring video it's gonna have a lot of spring stuff because i love spring okay hopefully you'll be able to follow this makeup guys thank you so much bye